Hello, my name is Kevin Ostoyich. I am a historian. I'm a professor of history at Valparaiso University, and I'm also a fellow here at the Coleg. My main goal is to interview Holocaust survivors and then tell their stories in a variety of formats. At the Coleg, I've been able to work on a variety of projects all pertaining to the Holocaust. For example, I have been working on the book project, The Herero and the Shanghai Jews. In this project, uh, I've, at the Coleg, completed two chapters, one that is on Helga Silberberg and the other on Peter Arthur Gray. I have also been working on a book project by, that is called One Family, Stories of Reconciliation and Friendship Arising from the Holocaust. For this project, I have completed a chapter on uh, Gary Sternberg. I have started working on a documentary film called Gary's Letter, working with Look Productions in Berlin. I am also working on a teaching guide for an article called What Toys Did You Play With When You Were a Child? Engaging the Boys of Shanghai, as well as a number of other articles. I am currently working on a podcast for the Coleg titled Tiny Dancer, Retracing the Steps of Jackie Beer, and am working on a full-length book with the same title. So the time here at the Coleg has been a very productive one for me. Meanwhile, I continue to conduct interviews of Holocaust survivors and uh, am sent throughout Germany by the U.S. Embassy to lecture about the Shanghai Jewish refugees to teachers throughout Germany in hopes that they will use the uh, pedagogical tools that I use in the United States with university students. I have also been working on a variety of historical plays. One play that will be published in November, uh, which is called The Singer of Shanghai. This was performed in Edinburgh, Scotland while I was here. Also, uh, I just finished another play called Three Girls of Shanghai. The play Three Girls of Shanghai relates very much with the overarching theme of the Coleg of global disconnectivity because we have three girls of Shanghai and you would assume that they are connected and they are connected by the fact that they all grew up in Shanghai and yet they are disconnected in that these communities had very different circumstances, especially vis-a-vis -vis the occupying Japanese. Whereas the stateless Russian community was left on its own by the Japanese occupiers, the refugee community was put into a, what was called a designated area in 1943. Meanwhile, after Pearl Harbor, which we remember as December 7th, 1941. In Shanghai, it was December 8th, 1941. And it was more important to the people in Shanghai that the Japanese took over Shanghai on that date. The members of the Sephardic community, because of their British citizenship, were now enemy combatants of the Japanese overnight. And many of them were put into internment camps including the woman that I interview and is depicted in the film uh, by the name of Esther Schifrin. She was in an internment camp there. So what is interesting is that, yes, we have three girls from Shanghai, and yet these three girls find that there are many things in which they are connected, but then there are also many other things in which they, their experiences are disconnected.